Alright. This time I got no hood on. Because, you know, there's man. I can't help what I look like. Because, man, I look younger than what I really am. <laughs> so, when I put on that hood, you know, this talk is called Conspiracy Theory and Morality. Yeah? And the links between that. Now, you see that? <laughs> Yo, let me get into this talk. Yeah? Conspiracy Theory and Morality. Yeah? Now, obviously, uh, conspiracy theories, yeah, are part of everyday life, yeah, and they develop from morality, yeah. Think about it. When a policeman, yeah, is solving a crime, he needs to have suspects. The concept of a suspect involves conspiracy theory. <laughs> it's to do with morality. <laughs> That's reality. <laughs> so conspiracy theories are everywhere. Everywhere in life. Yeah? So even the diffraction experiment with the double slits They are scientists who say jokingly <laughs> It's as if nature knows that you're watching And once it figures out that you're watching It stops doing what it's doing That's a conspiracy theory <laughs> So Conspiracy theories Are part of everyday life <laughs> Yeah People conspire everyday yeah, there's all different kinds of rivalries where if you think about what's happening with your rivals <laughs> those are conspiracy theory yeah <laughs> theories yeah <laughs> I'm not really flowing today because this is a serious subject you must live your life the name of this instrumental is called live your life you must live your life yeah and obviously you're gonna have conspiracy theories about your rivals um, about simple things you know um, so it's about you know saying what's on your mind and feeling free to do that yeah where you don't feel obliged to please others you don't feel obliged yeah you just live your life yeah if people say conspiracy theories are dangerous or conspiracy theories are this and that well you say <laughs> everyone is a conspiracy theorist <laughs> yeah so <laughs> in what way in what sense yeah so you have to be careful when you generalize things like that you'd be attacking the fabric of society which is morality <laughs> so <laughs> conspiracy theories you can never eliminate them you can't ban them because uh, theoretically philosophically they're part of so much of everyday life that it's just concept Actually, yeah it's a concept that you can never eradicate yeah imagine a world <laughs> where there's no conspiracy theory <laughs> that would be a pleasant world by the way but it's just not gonna happen that would mean that policeman can't suspect people because that's thinking like a conspiracist <laughs> yeah somebody does a crime you're not supposed to suspect anything you just say oh shit I missed it and you walk away <laughs> there'll be no need for law enforcement 
<laughs> so I just imagine what that world would look like. Um, it means that when you see a woman, let's say you have a girlfriend and you see her with a man, and then you find them in bed together. You can't think there's nothing going on, and they say it's not what it's look, what it looks like. You can't think there's nothing going on <laughs> because that would make it conspiracy theory. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they want to ban conspiracy theory. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> the concept of banning conspiracy theories. <laughs> um, I'll give you another analogy. <laughs> it's like um, operating. An ATM card, yeah, putting it in the ATM machine, <laughs> and then having a man looking right at you at the keyboard, yeah, he just says, "Oh, move over a little bit," and he looks right at the keyboard, and for you to think that there's nothing going on, because <laughs> if you thought there was something going on, <laughs> that would make a conspiracy theory. <laughs> And I'm sure they'll design a penalty for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> to ban conspiracy theories <laughs> is just about the dumbest thing. <laughs> I've ever heard. It's stupid. <laughs> um, you can't enforce it properly. <laughs> you leave us open to dumb shit. <laughs> you need to chill, man. <laughs> yeah? And obviously, there's dangerous conspiracy theories. And those ones, obviously, um, it is subjective. So I suppose democratic processes um, <laughs> processes <laughs> democratic processes <laughs> yeah can be utilized uh, to find out what the people think and to enforce the people's will yeah um, so if you consider a conspiracy theory to be dangerous you put it to the people <laughs> and let them decide their own destiny <laughs> They'll watch that, but that's yo yo. We're all servants to the people, yeah. So we all have a social responsibility. So we're all servants to the people, <laughs> yeah. So whatever the people decide, <laughs> you walk around that. <laughs> that's how you solve that, <laughs> because it's so laughable. <laughs> I'm sure. Every serious thinker out there must have taken time to laugh hard <laughs> at the suggestion that people want to ban conspiracy theories. Science itself is a conspiracy theory <laughs> and that's the basis of everything we consider to be fact and truth nowadays and it itself is a conspiracy theory. <laughs> Um, what happened before the Big Bang? <laughs> they suspect <laughs> that sometimes things come out of nowhere. Obviously, no one ever proved that, but they suspect <laughs> it's a conspiracy. <laughs> I better stop, man. Because sometimes I get carried away. Sorry for laughing too much. I'm going to leave the laughs in this because it'll make me laugh. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll delete it. Let me know if you if you think I should delete this video and stop laughing. Comment below, please. Alright. Um, I might give you a few more.
more minutes because the song hasn't ended and I'll end it perfect. So, the link between <laughs> conspiracy theories and morality is it's such that one can't exist without the other. One should be able to exist without the other. Morality should be able to exist without the need for conspiracy theories. But that's in a utopic world. <laughs> is the world utopic yet? No. So that theory there is obsolete in today's reality. Yeah? If there ever comes a time where we reach a utopic system of um, socializing, <laughs> yeah. Um, then you can suggest those theories so it's not bad it's not bad but not yet okay I don't think we're ready for your brilliance when you come up with that idea yet those who came up with it yeah it's good and I'm all for it but not yet <laughs> I've looked at society and from my experience what I've experienced from people what I've seen of them yeah, that's a concept that is reserved when you're in an angelic society where everybody's decent and they're not statistically they're not scientifically I cannot tell you that uh, the world is 100% decent and if I can't do that you can't ban conspiracy theories it's as simple as that yeah that's all I wanted to add it's a serious thing yeah sorry I laughed but if you don't like it let me know <laughs> if you do, 